They should have fit in 10. Welcome to day 22, and numbers were sent out a bit late tonight. My apologies. I was away. Uh, well, I actually wasn't away. I was just busy with a lot of other things, and uh, it's a manual process. So uh, anyways, numbers have been sent out, so please check your email. Numbers are the same pretty much for everybody, unless we had some sort of individual discussion about it. Heart rate values are different, so check that out. Your upper heart rate value in particular is different, so check on your... Uh, your higher heart rate value, the you're trying to work up to a, a higher heart rate now, okay, for your intervals. And you may already be getting to that point because maybe you're just doing more as it is, which is fine. Okay, so the last couple of days we talked about uh, fat loss a little bit. Um, it's it's a huge topic, and to be honest with you, I could, I could probably honestly break it down into uh, certain parts and talk about uh, those aspects all the way through the challenge because there's just so many pieces to it. Um, today, I wanna to talk to you about why calories matter. You've heard me say this before. You know, it's like, why not just fall, why not you just eat less, right? Like, why not just cut calories by 50% or, you know, why not fall ultra low? Um, you will lose more faster for sure. Uh, but ultimately, when we think about diet is we, we kind of want to get away from the old way of thinking about diet, which is something you follow for a short period of time and you stop and then you just kind of go back to your regular life. That is not going to work for you unless you are just trying to get somewhere. You're just trying to get to a certain point, a certain event, a certain date and get to a certain weight, let's say. And then you don't care about what happens afterwards, right? You've got to think about long term if you care about maintaining your body composition or even improving it long term okay or really when we say when i'm thinking long term i'm talking about for the rest of your life so number one here is um uh sorry excuse me this is the number one uh reason why this is not the number one reason this is reason number one for having enough calories in your diet okay more food equals greater sustainability if you have more food you're in a better position to keep going. If it doesn't feel like you're dieting, okay, and I'm using that word dieting, you're always dieting, doesn't matter what diet you're following, you're following a diet, but you understand what I'm saying. If it doesn't feel like you're in a major deficit, this is a much better way to go because this is more sustainable, all right? So now, obviously, if you eat more calories, then you're not going to gain, you're not going to lose as much weight as fast. Okay, but we've got to think about, which brings me to my second point, the fact that this is a little bit every day. This is a little bit every day, hopefully not super noticeable, not a major stress to the body, okay, which, which brings upon many other things, like, you know, like, it's going to affect. So if you go super low calories, okay, it's a stress on the body. It's an even greater stress on the body than just doing a small deficit. And this is going to affect things like your sleep. It's going to affect your mood. It's going to affect your energy levels. It's going to affect um, your immune system. All these things, right? So you've got to think about this from a longevity standpoint, a health standpoint. Um, even from the standpoint of, um, of being able to have a productive training, which we'll get to. All right, so just think of this as the digging adds up over time, and we need to think about this as a long-term process that we're always going to be working towards. Number three, maintenance of metabolism. What is the point of forcing yourself to eat less calories and starving yourself only for it to result in a quicker decline in your metabolic rate? Like, what's the point? So you're just torturing yourself more to slow your metabolism makes no sense okay um now part of the slowing of the metabolism there's really two major things that are going to uh, contribute to this loss of lean mass and downroid a uh, downroid down down regulation of your thyroid okay uh, which can happen very fast can happen in a matter of days so what's the point of that like you're just you're just trading okay so now i'm creating more of a deficit but then i'm just right almost immediately you know, chopping down my metabolism. So it's like you cut down your calories, but then you cut down the amount of energy your body's outputting. It's just like, you know, you're spinning your wheels. Number three. Uh, excuse me, that was number three. Maintenance of metabolism. Number four. 
Lean body mass. So we just talked about this. We want to maintain as much lean body mass as possible. Lean body mass is not just muscle, but it's everything. It's your organs. It's your bone mass. It's your tendons. It's your ligaments. Okay. It's your muscle mass, of course. All these things, we want to maintain them. They all have function and we want them to be... Um, we want them to be able to go through their life cycle and we want these things to be like your organs. Everything's going through a life cycle constantly, right? Things are breaking down and building back up. Everything's doing this. Your muscles doing this, you know, all your organs are doing this. Everything's doing this in your body. We want this to be as healthy as possible, right? We don't want the body to be struggling to find nutrients to maintain itself. Okay. So again, maintenance of lean body mass. Um... <clears throat> Number, how am I doing here? Six minutes. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Number five, thyroid production. All right. So I already talked about this. This kind of goes with metabolic rate. Uh, ultimately, calories are going to make a big difference in this. Uh, but more specifically, carbohydrate intake. Okay. So this is a reason. This is this is an argument actually for, for people who follow a low carbohydrate diet to maybe do some carbohydrate cycling. Do some days of high carbohydrates. Number six, touched upon this right in the beginning, but fuel for training. You want to be, what's the point of, you know, making yourself, giving yourself less energy. So now you're dragging yourself around and then now you got to go work out, but you can't really have productive workouts because you don't have the energy, right? Again, now you can't output as much energy, nor can you cause as much, let's, let's say, and this is, you know, this is just an example, nor can you cause maybe as much damage to your muscles uh and so you're not you know you're not going to uh improve as much whether it's uh with your strength or it's in particular hypertrophy right i think we all want hypertrophy muscle growth we all want that because we're just losing it as we speak and you may not appreciate that now but you will certainly appreciate this once you get into your 60s 70s 80s okay in particular in particular 70s and 80s um, number seven, more calories means more protein sparing. Protein is the most expensive food. Protein is something that we really don't enjoy eating. Okay. A lot of people don't enjoy eating. I enjoy eating protein, but a lot of people don't like, they like the carbs and the fats. Um, so, uh, if, if you have less calories, your body is going to resort to uh, yes, it's going to, it's going to burn through more fat, but it's also going to chew through more protein, whether that's dietary protein or protein from the body, right? Everything on us is made of protein, virtually everything with the exception of what's not made of protein. Uh, probably your nervous system, your nervous system's more fat. There's, it is made of some protein, but probably more fat. Uh, well, it is made of more fat. Um, but everything else, bone, you know, bone is mainly protein, right? Bone is over 50% protein. All of our tissues are made of protein. Um, all right, I'm going to stop it there and I'll continue with more reasons tomorrow on this. Okay, uh, let's get to the message of the day. Vow to make these videos a little bit shorter here. Uh, where's my message of the day? Message of the day on this day 22. Very fitting for today. You cannot, sorry, excuse me. You can fast track weight loss. You can. What you cannot do, or not very well at least, you cannot fast track fat loss. All right? So when, what's the point of losing weight if it's not weight that you want to lose, right? Like if you want to just see that number on the scale go down, just cut off your arm or your leg. You'll be way lighter. Instantly. That'll make you happier. But you need that limb. You need that. You need the arm. You need whatever you cut off, right? So that's you. So I'm just emphasizing my point here that you want to focus on fat loss, which is which is why we measure that in this. We don't just measure weight, okay? Weight doesn't reflect fat loss. If you lose weight, it doesn't mean you're losing fat, okay? Necessarily. All right. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Positive energy, positive vibes. Believe in yourself. For the love of God, give some gratitude, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See ya.